Understand this, corporate America does not want you to be financially literate. I truly, truly believe that. Uh, part of the reason that most schools don't offer financial literacy is because the American economy is in very large part driven by consumerism. When corporations run ads and they convince you to go spend $200 on a pair of sneakers that cost $8 to make in Malaysia, they're doing things to manipulate your mind. They'll show you with these headphones on, being worn by Lil Wayne or, or, or some rapper that you admire, so you somehow think those headphones are valuable even if they cost almost nothing to make. So that excessive consumerism, that impulsive buying, that appeal to your, your instinctual brain su surpassing the prefrontal cortex where you think logically, that is part of a strategy to get you to make decisions that are going to boost the economy, that are going to boost the 1%, but they're going to leave you as a corporate slave, that are going to leave you in a situation where you are so addicted to consumerism that you have to keep going to work in order to pay for things that you didn't even need in the first place. So. Financial literacy does help you get past that. But remember, corporations don't want you to be financially literate because MasterCard wants you to have a big pile of debt. If you look at uh, America right now, a lot of people are drowning in student loan debt. They're drowning in consumer debt. They're drowning in mortgage debt. They're drowning in all kinds of debt because excessive consumerism teaches you uh, to go out and get money and waste that money.